That way you're omnipresent and you're not just relying solely on emails because even with emails, they're gonna be getting them. But remember, a good email open rate is 30%, which means 70% of the people who signed up for the webinar in the first place aren't going to be seeing any of your email content. But what's up everybody alvaro here from alvaro barrios digital and today i'm going to talk to you about two common mistakes i see people make with their retargeting ads when it comes to a launch now if you're watching this i'm sure you're very aware of the fact that when it comes to doing any type of launch whether it's a webinar launch challenge launch video series launch right using facebook ads as a tool will help you get bigger and better results because you're going to get more people inside the launch you're going to be omnipresent on multiple placements facebook instagram all that kind of good stuff and you will simply just get better results because of it however i usually whenever i dissect someone's launch results they get the first part right which is they do well with the conversion ads of getting people inside the launch i usually don't see too many problems there people do a great job of running us to their webinar or their challenge or whatever it might be it's afterwards in the retargeting phase that i see many many people making two very common and very big mistakes that cost them a lot of money. And I'm gonna cover those today so that you do not make them in the future. So the very first mistake that I always see inside ad accounts when it comes to a launch is that people actually aren't even running retargeting ads. I can't even tell you how many times I've hopped in an account and I'm auditing the results of a previous launch and I look and I'm going, where are you retargeting as I can't find those campaigns? Can you point me in the right direction? And then the client goes, oh, we never did any retargeting campaigns. And my mind is just like bewildered and blown. I'm like, what, you didn't do any retargeting campaigns? So most people think that you just run ads to get people into the launch and then that's it, right? The launch take care the, uh, the rest of the way because you've got your emails and you've got your webinar or your challenge or your Facebook group, whatever it might be. And that's gonna do all the heavy lifting. But that's not the case. You can utilize Facebook retargeting ads in order to get people to take action and invest in your program. So absolutely, during your cart open period, you want to be running ads to everyone who registered for your challenge. That way, you're omnipresent and you're not just relying solely on emails because even with emails, they're gonna be getting them. But remember, a good email open rate is 30%, which means 70% of the people who signed up for the webinar in the first place aren't going to be seeing any of your email content but I can pretty much assure you they will be logging onto Facebook or Instagram so the retargeting ads are a perfect way to get people over to your sales page and sign up for your program once you are in the cart open phase for your launch so that's mistake number one mistake number two is that I see some people they will do the retargeting ads so that's good all right they didn't skip that step entirely however I see them allocating way too much budget to to retargeting ads so when you do start running retargeting ads for your cart open phase you do not need to spend a lot of money because keep in mind for when you're running ads to cold traffic you're in most cases in most industries running ads to millions of people right at least a minimum of a million oftentimes two million five million ten million who knows but it's in the millions right that's a lot of people and that's a normal sized Facebook ad audience however when you're doing retargeting ads during your cart open phase depending Depending on how many people enter your launch, it might only be a couple hundred, a thousand, just a few thousand, five thousand, which even though five thousand sounds like a lot, when it comes to Facebook advertising, that's a very small audience. That's microscopic when you compare it to the size of the cold audiences that you're running ads to. So as a result, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to get in front of a thousand people or 500 people. You can spend very little, even 10 to $15 a day during your card open period, and that's more than enough to get in front of everyone over the course of your cart open period so as an example I just wrapped up a launch with a client and the total budget for both the sign up ads and also cart open ads cart close as well was seventy thousand dollars that was the entire budget so for the sign up ads to get people to join the launch we spent sixty eight thousand dollars and then we only used two thousand dollars for cart open and cart close there were over twenty thousand people signed up for this challenge but two thousand dollars is plenty of money 
to get in front of 20,000 people in Facebook, right? So that's the beauty of Facebook is that you can spend very little to get in front of a lot of people. So I've seen it where people maybe have, you know, 500 people in their launch and they're allocating a $3,000 budget for card open period. That's not necessary. Not only is it not necessary, it's probably going to be deterring your results because you're going to be spending so much money and people are going to be seeing the exact same ads over and over and over and over and over again for a very concentrated period, which might actually annoy them, which actually also leads me to my final mistake that I don't want you to be doing is that so when you do run retargeting ads, make sure you have more than just one ad. Because again, even if you allocate your budget properly, at the end of the day, it's still a small audience. So the same people, if you only have one ad, they're going to be seeing that one ad over and over and over and over and over again, right? So in order to avoid that issue, make sure you have a mixture of at least three different ads with, you know, different copy, different creatives, different ways of encouraging people to sign up, right? An easy way to do this is that maybe one ad is your stereotypical, hey, you know, cards open, sign up today, blah, blah, blah. Another ad might be a testimonial ad that of people who have gone through your program in the past, that way you have some social proof. And then the third ad can be any ad that overcomes common objections that you encounter with your target audience. So those are the three mistakes. Don't make them just as a recap. Do run retargeting ads. When you do, you don't need to allocate a whole lot of money. And then just be sure that you have more than one ad in your cart open and cart close phase. That way you don't annoy people. So if you found this information useful and you'd like to see if there's a way that you can work with me and my team, head on over to alvarobarrios.com forward slash FB help. In there, you're gonna fill out a brief form and then you and I are gonna hop on a Zoom call and we'll figure out what the best solution is for you. Uh, I do not have cookie cutter solutions. I have custom solutions based upon your specific needs and goals with regards to Facebook ads. So I will link that below for you to check out. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If if you've made it this far, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm. That way more people just like you can watch this information and benefit from it just like you have. And if you have any other topics you'd like for me to cover, definitely just let me know in the comments below. The most popular and requested topics I get, I turn into videos just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any valuable content that I put out on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.